I was surprised to discover how similar artists and great leaders are. And there are really three ways in which they're very similar. The first is that both artists and great leaders have the courage to see reality the way it is. We might think we see reality the way it is, but oftentimes we only see what we want to see, or we only see what everybody else is seeing. But the artist has the skill to really see what's there. That's the same for the leader, or if you think of an entrepreneur, what does an entrepreneur do? An entrepreneur takes advantage of an opportunity that other people don't see. What has Warren Buffett done for years with his investment strategy? He saw opportunities and trends that nobody else saw, both good ones and bad ones, and navigated through in a way that the market as, as a whole failed to. If you think about artists, and if I think for a moment about a visual artist, almost every visual artist way back then when they were starting was in a drawing class. And what's the essence of drawing? It's seeing. It's not how you hold the, the charcoal or how you hold the pencil or how you hold the graphite. It's seeing. And so the first time an artist invites you to draw, they may ask you to draw a face. So you draw the oval around the face and then you put the eyes in. And almost every new person who isn't an artist puts the eyes up here. You know, they're kind of floating around up here because nobody ever thinks about eyes being in the middle. We draw what we imagine a face is like. We don't actually see it. Then when we get trained to actually see, the eyes come down and they are actually where they belong. But we do the same thing, not just with the eyes on a face, we do the same thing when we look out at the environment. We see what we think is going on, not what's really going on. When we look out at what's going on in our communities, we see people from other cultures and we have an imagination of what they would be like and we see them that way. That isn't the only way that lead, great leaders and great artists are similar. But before I go on to the second and third way, notice that I started with the word courage. It isn't just, oh, this is nice, I see things that you don't see. It actually takes a lot of courage to see things that other people don't see. Think for a moment of the investment banker. What if everybody is saying the market's going to continue to go up? And I say, no, look at there's this trend over here. I think we need to be cautious about it. And so I'm going to get out of that segment of the market. And then all of a sudden, my portfolio doesn't start performing as well as the rest of the people. So there's pressure, and people don't want to be have their money managed by my portfolio. But I still keep believing it, and I act on my analysis of what I see. And ultimately, if I'm seeing carefully, I'm correct and I'm vindicated. If you look at the pressure, and they've done now studies on um, people who manage mutual funds, they all, not all, they almost all move as a herd because they don't have the courage to see with their own eyes. I'll give one other example that um, I love because it comes from the city where I live in Montreal. And we have a French community and an English community. Um, we're in the middle of a country that's dominantly English speaking, but Quebec, the province that Montreal is in, is dominantly French speaking. And we've had a number of referenda deciding if Quebec's going to stay a part of the rest of Canada or not. And in our last referendum, which ended up very, very, very close, all of the um, public newscasts and political um, statements and that leaders were making were that we were so different. We were so different that it just couldn't work to have us continue to be together. And my colleague and friend, Henry Mintzberg, who's a strategy professor, said, you know what you need to do, my fellow Montrealers? You need to go to your window, turn off your TV, 
Turn off your radio. Turn off the voices of other people that are telling you how to see and just open your window. Look out and ask, do your children play with children who speak the other language, English, French? Do you work with the people? Do you invite them over for dinner? Do you enjoy being with them? See with your own eyes how the culture is actually working. Don't listen to how you're told. That's the courage of an artist. That's also the courage of a leader, to stand out there alone before other people are seeing and be able to not only see, but then to say out loud what he or she is seeing. The second way that great artists and great leaders are similar is that both great artists and great leaders have the courage to imagine possibility, even in situations that look really dire, really difficult, really challenging, some of the situations we're facing today. So if I can imagine, let me take the environment for a moment, and I say that what I can see for the world is a world where the air, the water, the land are flourishing. Not just not polluted, but flourishing, where we live in a really healthy world. And the reaction of most people will be, how naive can you be? Do you know how deep the problem, do you know how systemic the problems are? Do you know how difficult the problems are? You can't, you're not up to date. You're not realistic. You're not pragmatic. You're naive, you're too young, you're too old, you're too unexperienced, okay? So it takes that same courage to bring a vision of possibility when you're in the middle of a situation that's anything but perfect, that feels like a crisis. Today we have huge crises in democracy in a number of countries around the world. So it's very difficult to say out loud that we can re-engage the people in a way that they will vote and act to support the whole rather than just whatever their self-interested group is. I have the, the possibility to imagine that which is beautiful even if other people can't at the moment. And the third one in which great artists and great leaders have similarity and need courage is they both have the courage to inspire people to move from current reality back to possibility. So what great artists and great leaders have in common isn't just knowing or understanding, but also putting into action what they see and what they imagine. So I can get people encouraged with the heart, encouraged, to be able to leave my current situation and go back to a better situation.